Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome to the third episode and in today's episode I will explain you how to create your own custom crafting recipe. We're inside just a basic plugin, it's just what I explained until now, I'm not going to show you any uh, anymore how to create this, you already know it, it's a basic plugin, the YML, etc, etc. And inside our plugin I made an unenable. I uh, made the overwrite on the and on enable method. So to get started, we need to create a new method. So we're going to create a private void because we only want to uh, have this plugin and this clause be able to access it. Access it. So we're going to do a private void, and we're going to do because we're going to create a recipe for a saddle, a shaped recipe. I will explain what the difference is between a shaped recipe. Uh, it will return a method, method error because we do not use it. And inside the sh recipe saddle, we want to create our recipe for the saddle. So we first get the item stack. We get the item stack and this is going to be the saddle. And item stack is just um, the, the, the way material.saddle. It's just uh, item stack stands for the item. Uh, as you could guess item stack and we create it like this so item stack saddle equals a new item stack uh, which has the information which has the data so it's it's the equivalent equivalent of material dot saddle so a saddle and now what we want to create because we want to make a, a shaped recipe so we're gonna create new shaped recipe uh, a shaped recipe recipe and it's gonna be recipe, just like this. This equals uh, a new shaped recipe, like that. Control Shift O to import, and it's gonna return an error because we need to give the shaped recipe an item stack, and we want the item stack settle like that. So we have now created a new shaped recipe for the uh, for the settle, for the item stack settle. So what we want to do now is recipe dot set um, we want to do we want to give it shape a shape and if you have the graph crafting grid you have like uh, nine nine items that you can put in and we're gonna start with the top row so um, in the top row there will be three items will be three times ladder then the second row will contain three sticks and the third row will be gonna contain a stick, iron, and a stick. If this not is not clear, watch the end. Um, I will, I will. Uh, it will be clear how that works because we're gonna craft it actually. And what we want to do now, because we just put in l l l s s s s i s, and the thing does not know what what is. So we want to say recipe dot set ingredient. And the char key now might mind the difference because I'm only using one of those instead of two. And we want to say uh, the character L is gonna be standing for material dot leather. Leather, like that. And then we go recipe dot set ingredient again. Oh set ingredient recipe dot set ingredient I just gonna copy because that imp improves my efficiency like this set ingredient I'm gonna change this to the S and as I already said that's a stick just like that stick and then I'm gonna do it again and the I is gonna stand for an iron ingot so material dot iron low score ingot like that so we now told the so we now created a recipe uh, which has the shape of l l l s s s s i s just like uh, it's gonna be inside the crafting grid it's gonna be l left top l top uh, middle l a stick over here stick over here stick over here stick over here iron over there stick over there just like that and that will equal a saddle 
Um, what we now want to do, because we created the recipe, the shaped recipe, we want to get the server and actually register the recipe. So, uh, add recipe, um, we want to add recipe. Like that, because we created the recipe over here. And what we did what we, was we created a method and only enable uh, when the server enables when the server starts we want to call that method method so recipe settle um, just like this and now we created our own custom settle uh, recipe so let's check it out on the server so we're inside minecraft now and let me join the server um, get a crafting table place it down and to craft the saddle we need it leather so we're gonna get a stack of leather we need it sticks stick kinda grab a stack of that and we need it iron ingot so we're gonna get a stack of that too and our shaped recipe was like this and now we can craft the saddle just like that and the difference between a shaped recipe and a non-shaped recipe I will show you because we just created a shaped recipe and an example of a not shaped recipe is uh, if we use paper and gunpowder get paper and gunpowder uh, you can see we create firework rockets and we can like put this everywhere there's no uh, common shape there's no fixed shape of this and that's the difference between our shaped recipe and a shapeless recipe I'm sorry that's the wrong one over here and that's it for today's video I will explain later how to create uh, a saddle with a custom name and custom lore but that's something for in the expansion videos uh, I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and see you next time guys bye <laughs>